Hello everybody, this is Bleakborn and I have another reptile room update. So let's just go into it like we normally do. Well, so I repotted this, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> Lipstick vine, and you can see it's starting to get a little bit of growth. Um, you can see that one's going up in there. Um, Wandering Jew went crazy. I'm gonna have to repot that in something I can hang, but for right now it's kind of just hanging out. Um, there is the other ivy. It's gotten some new leaves. It's looking pretty good. I don't know if that's gonna grow, but I'm testing. Um, that is the Venus flytraps. Still nothing. Um, this cactus ended up dying on me in the tank, and I'm gonna see if I can bring it back to life by, uh, Letting it have a good, good, solid drink of water. Um, there's some more Dracaena. There's that weird purple plant that's poisonous. Deer just ran away in the background. <laughs> um, there is the mother-in-law's tongue. Its brethren are now all inside of the frog's tank. And then here is a little umbrella plant. I'm trying to see if I can create a cool bonsai with. But for right now, it's just kind of hanging out. But uh, we'll work our way down. I decided to finally hang uh, Ziggy's light and as you can see the heat from when I had accidentally left it on it for one night uh, had completely shattered that piece of glass. But uh, she's just kind of angrily chilling. She doesn't really do much but that's to be expected. There's some of the plants. I did take a clipping from my um, creeping fig uh, creeping ficus uh, plumelia variegated. It's got a weird name. And then there's some more dracaenas. I decided to finally take those both out of the tank. Um, over to Casey's tank. Um, with that cactus dying up there, I decided I'm going to move the. Uh, why can't I can't remember plant names today. The aloe vera from in that little hole to up there. You can see Casey's kind of. Hiding in there, part of his face. He's really shy. He was eating earlier. Um, I need that a little more water. Um, I just put the UVB bulb on this tank because he hasn't had it in a while. It's right in the shed. Um, rock plant, jade plant's doing okay. They both probably need to be watered tomorrow. Um, beyond that, now, before I reveal it, I'm going to show off the new light yeah look at that sweet sexy thing that is a I already forgot what it's called it's a satellite pro it has a remote yep I can make it thunderstorm wait thunderstorm wait wait for it at the press it up towards the towards the controller thunder one. Don't leave the audience hanging. But it's got plenty of settings. Yep, there you guys go. But we'll we'll work our way around. Um, I'm gonna turn it back to um, resume. It's kind of got a wicked reflection from above, but that uh, <laughs> oh, that ficus kind of went crazy in here. Um, so we'll start. Newest plant I just added a few minutes ago. Let's see if I can get the. Is that little Anubius down there? Um, into the water area. So we'll see how that goes. It's a partially aquatic plant. Uh, Orchid 1, Orchid 2, Bromeliad. Um, that's pretty cool. And then I put this guy in here. I figured, what the heck? I'm gonna put. He's a little big for the tank, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna see how it goes. Uh, I want a little more shade in this tank because it was a little too bright. And the back of the leaves are so cool. Um, I got another little air plant kind of hanging on in that log, and I'm trying. This fern was up on the. Up on the main branch there, and it was just too hot for it, so I moved it down. The other day, and I don't, I don't know if it's gonna survive or not. 
which is kind of sad, but I do have a second one. Um, way back there, and it seems to be doing pretty good. There's Margravia. And I'm a little foggy in the tank, it's hard to see. Skull, get out of the reflection. Whoop. The other Margravia is right there. Moss is kind of just going good and crazy. Um, yeah. I think the tank's doing well. See the vanilla orchid back there is growing a little bit. Got a new orchid in the front there. Yeah, hey, oh, new air plants. Um, it's definitely green. Now I'll go over the top. Maybe you can see the isopods. They were hanging out up here earlier, but you can kind of see them. See if I can line up with the camera. There he is. Yep, just chilling. There was one on this side for a while too, crawling around up there. I'm a little worried that he'll decide he wants to climb out. But they've stayed in there so far. Um, the fern's doing pretty good. I Overall, the tank's coming to life. Um, something interesting though, since I have this little gap here, I found two bees in there the other day. They're waking up in my uh, hometown here and they're starting to fly to whatever smells good. So apparently this tank uh, smells like nectar. But yeah, that is the main tank there and uh, little Miss Ziggy over there. Hey Ziggy, Miss here. She's going to be moved in here probably next weekend, and I'll do a whole video on moving her over there. But I'll just pan across the room. Christmas cactus is doing well. You're not doing so well. I kind of forgot about you. Uh, you'll be fine. You'll no longer. Um, my uh, or um, uh, <laughs> my little lime tree's doing okay. Still. Still kind of staying small. I think some good, good sun this summer will be good. Um, but uh, give me a nice look at my backyard. There was a deer out at that salt lick earlier. And uh, there's my old little shed there. Can't wait to start restoring that. It's going to be a whole video series. But, uh... Ram. Yeah. Um... If you guys like this video at all, please leave a comment or a like or subscribe if you happen to run into this video. And if you want to see more, um, I'm just going to keep posting this monthly. This is the April Reptile Room. Um, like and subscribe, and uh, thank you guys for watching.